Good evening, everyone. So for our ecology project today, we did rainforest climate, and we'll be answering two questions. The first question being, why does it rain so much in the rainforest, and how does deforestation affect the precipitation? If you have ever wondered why the rainforest is so lush and vibrant, we are here to answer your question. Location, location, location. Since rainforests are located in a belt around the equator, the tropics receive a great amount of direct solar energy, which produces more evaporation than higher latitudes. Of the 250,000 plant species on Earth, 170,000 are found in tropical rainforests. This high plant density results in a huge amount of transpiration. Transpiration is a process of plants taking water into their roots and exhaling the water as gaseous water vapor through their leaves. The thousands of plants in the rainforest cause the transpiration rates to be extremely high, and this produces a substantial amount of water vapor in the air, which leads to more rainfall. High level levels of biomass that are substantiated by the rainfall also contribute to the weather patterns observed. Our first fun fact is tropical rainforests cover less than 3% of Earth's area, yet they are home to more than half of our planet's animal species and are responsible for more than 20% of global photosynthesis while producing up to 75% of their own rainfall through evap transpiration, making them very self-sufficient communities. The climate of the tropical rainforest is also a big part of substantial rainfall. In most rainforests, it is warm, usually 25 degrees Celsius or greater, so a lot of ocean water evaporates. For our second fun fact of the day, temperatures don't change much between night and day, so tropical rainforests are lush and warm all year long. In tropical rainforests, the environment is very wet while maintaining a high humidity of 77 to 88 percent year round. Yearly rainfall will range from 80 to 400 inches as it rains very hard. As tropical rainforests are a perfect environment for plants and wildlife, it creates a lot of transpiration. This makes tropical rainforests exist in areas of high rainfall as they cause more precipitation through transpiration. For a third fun fact of the day, it can take 10 minutes for a raindrop to fall to the ground because the trees create a canopy in the sky which acts like an umbrella. There are multiple reasons rainforests are important to planet Earth. They help stabilize the world's climate, maintain the water cycle, and protect against flood, drought, and erosion. One human process that is hurting rainforests is deforestation. Deforestation is the removal of a wide area of trees, usually caused by humans. This action can lead to reduced precipitation because without the trees, there is no transpiration to release water vapor into the air. Since most rainforest soils are very poor, most nutrients are continually recycled and do not recover when they are lost. Fun fact, it is estimated that within 100 years, there will be no rainforest. Have you ever wondered what types of species roam the ancient tropical rainforest? The tropical rainforest is home to over 3 million species. It is home to common species such as frogs and exotic animals such as parrots. It is the most diverse place on earth which allows many different species to thrive here. These rainforests provide a nearly constant supply of water and a wide variety of food for the animals. For our last fun fact of the day, in the, mo in the moist rainforest of South America, sloths move so slowly that algae are able to grow in their fur. Whoa. In conclusion, rainforests are a huge part in keeping the planet healthy and need to be preserved at all costs.